Did you know that you can travel to Egypt without leaving the United States? It is actually true! Here in Las Vegas everything is possible! We are at the Luxor Hotel and Casino today. The hotel is themed in Egypt style. Today with us you'll get to discover the famous King's Tooth Tomb and you'll get to touch the iceberg of the famous shipwreck, the Titanic. Watch till the end of the video and we'll show you the famous Luxor Skybeam in the night time. Let's start our adventure! This is the Luxor Hotel and Casino located at the southern end of the Las Vegas Strip. Wow, it looks absolutely stunning! Look at that pyramid! Wow, we are going to Egypt! Luxor Hotel and Casino was opened in 1993 and was developed by Circus Circus Enterprises. Later on in 2005, the MGM company acquired Luxor and they did about 300 million renovations. And they dived more into the Egyptian theme, which is really, really cool when you come to the hotel. It really feels like you are in Egypt. So there is a Sphinx in front of the hotel and behind the Sphinx there is a big black pyramid featuring the famous Luxor Sky Beam. Now this is a 42.3 billion project. It is the strongest beam of light in the world. So this is something like really really amazing. We see here a lot of Egyptian architecture, a lot of Egyptian sculptures, and that Sphinx is definitely amazing. I like it here. The sculptures give a sneak peek to Egypt history, their gods, they worshipped a lot of animals, so there are a lot of animal statues. That Sphinx looks absolutely amazing. Now let's go and try to look at it closer. Let's go, let's go, follow me. There is a really tall obelisk in front of the hotel with Egyptian symbols and drawing. Now look at that, it looks pretty amazing. and. At night it all lights up and looks absolutely stunning. Now here we have the ancient Egyptian replica of Great Sphinx of Giza. It is 110 foot tall. Look at those details. He looks absolutely amazing. And this is actually the main entrance to the hotel. When you walk through the Sphinx, you'll be inside the hotel itself. Here we have two Egyptian statues of cats, which were worshipped by Egypt people. They actually worshipped a lot of cats in their history and a lot of Egyptian statues here. The architecture of the walls looks absolutely amazing, like every detail of this hotel felt in Egypt style. Now let's get inside and we'll see what we have here. Here we have some more Egypt statues and a huge atrium. Look, mommy, we can put a cart there for a good walk. Let's drop it there in a pool. Wow, this atrium looks absolutely amazing. Look at this Egyptian architecture. Look at those statues. A lot of people come here and they drop a coin in water for good luck, so there is plenty of good amount of coins and we dropped a couple coins there too. 
Wow, mommy, look, this is an art on the wall, mommy. That piece of art looks really nice. And now let's see what else we have here. We have really tall columns with Egyptian drawings. Really tall ceiling and it's actually three-story atrium. And all the activities are on the third floor. So that's where we're headed right now. The ceiling is the tip of the pyramid. This is where the sky beam starts. Luxor Hotel is very family friendly and there are a lot of activities which you can do. Um, there is a Blue Man Group performance which you can go and it's really cool. And there is also the famous Titanic exhibit and the King to Tomb exhibit. I like it here! Here we have the replica of the obelisk which is outside of the hotel and the small replica of the sphinx on the bottom. With the pyramid shaped ceiling and all this architecture, it really feels like you are inside of the pyramid. So, feels like you are in Egypt without actually being in Egypt and not even living in the United States. It's really, really nice and cool resort. And this is the pyramid shaped ceiling itself. Look at that, it looks really, really cool. And that's the starting point of the beam. Now the Blue Man Group performance is right there. We did not attend that, so there won't be any coverage on Blue Man uh, Group. But there is a really nice and cool display of lights outside with the bottoms, which kids can push on and play. It lights up in different colors and it's really cool for children while parents can be at the box office buying tickets for any performances kids can entertain themselves right there we like this activity push it different lights it's so fun Wow, we can learn and explore different combination colors. Now let's put your Indiana Jones shoes on and embrace the biggest adventure in history, discovering the King's Toot Tomb. On the entrance we were greeted by this cool Egyptian statue, which was crafted in gold. Looks really, really cool. Now a little bit about Egypt history for you. Located in the northeast corner of Africa, Egypt is divided by the Nile River. It's home to the world's highest concentration of temples, tombs, and palaces, which are found primarily along the river in the southern part of the country, in what is known as Upper Egypt. Our journey begins on the Nile's west bank, near Luxor, in the Valley of the Kings, the famous burial ground of ancient pharaohs, queens, high priests, and nobles. The valley's elaborate tombs were filled with riches. Along with mummified bodies, they held valuables such as jewels, sacred objects, furniture, food, 
Frank, even pets, something royals believed were needed in the afterlife. Even though the crypts are thought to be protected by mysterious spirits, treasure hunters and archaeologists were often drawn to the Valley of the Kings in search of these exquisite artifacts. Now, we'll embark on an expedition of our own as we follow in the footsteps of Egyptologist Howard Carter, who struck gold with the most amazing find of all time, the Tomb of Tutankhamun or as we are more familiar, King Tut. Few archeological finds have sparked as much celebration and scrutiny as the tomb of Tutankhamun. Since its discovery by Carter and his team 100 years ago, it's captured the public's imagination, attracting worldwide interest and controversy. That continues to grow along with the legend of the famous boy king. We'll travel to Egypt and go inside a magnificent reproduction of Tut's tomb. You will see artifacts crafted by Egyptian artisans in the exact tradition of those used in Tut's actual burial chamber. This one-of-a-kind experience will shine a light on the significance of gold in ancient Egypt. Uncover the techniques to mummification and crack the secret codes hidden within the hieroglyphs. Join us and take part in Carter's expedition in discovering King Tut's tomb. Now this is where the real adventure starts. And we're gonna follow the footsteps of archaeologist Howard Carter, who discovered the lost tomb of Tutankhamun, which was known by King Tut and it happened over a century ago. So we're gonna walk through the past and discover some pieces of Egypt history and some Egyptian treasures. So let's go! Look at those walls, they have Egypt drawings all over which can tell a lot about Egypt history too. Mommy, let's go. I will show you something interesting. Here we have a little bit background on who Howard Carter was and what he actually was doing with the history. And in the first publishings when the King Tut's tomb was discovered, and it was discovered in November 1922 by, as we already mentioned, Howard Carter and he was the British archaeologist and Egyptologist. So moving further, we see really nice ancient shaped walls. Kids really like them and they first thought of it something like a spooky adventure. But it wasn't spooky at all. So we have here some Egyptian doors. Like they have a little bit like gold scent on them. And there were some Egyptian drawings and you can read some information about the Egypt history as well here. Moving on, we see some history of burial chamber of King Tut, like actually how it was discovered and in what condition it was discovered. And this is a picture of the Egyptologist Howard Carter with some workers helping him to discover the tomb. The big focus of the exhibit is on the King Tut's tomb and on some pieces and artifacts which were found during the discovery of that tomb. So there are a lot of educational slides which you can watch or you can read them and it gives a really nice background of the Egypt history. So this is the chamber where the tomb was found. It looks Pretty cool. Imagine originally it's all in gold. Here it has a gold kind of accent to it. 
But this replica is really really close to the original. Look at those drawings. Look at all of that. And each drawing, all of it each means something in ancient Egypt language. Look at the art at those walls. Wow. So this is an outer chamber. You can only take a sneak peek inside and it has a, a sarcophag of King Tut. Mommy, what's there? It is so bright. Look at those walls. I like this art. Here there are some educational slides and you can watch and learn actually how many layers of the chambers were until the actual sarcophag of the king too. So there are several, like three I believe um, layers and then the mummy was inside. And the slides explain it really really well so if you are into ancient Egypt history, you should definitely go there and check that out. There are a lot of Egypt culture items. Some of them they just describe the Egyptian culture itself. Some of the bigger artifacts were found at the discovery of King Tut's tomb. So that kind of dives you inside the Egypt history. So you can kind of fill it through. There are a lot of pieces of art, lots of statues, lots of tools which Egyptians used every day. That's just something you can learn before you actually will see the King's to Tomb. So there are a lot of statues here, like a bit of a dark environment. And that is the statue of famous Ramses II. It is so fun here! I like to explore Egypt. Yes, Vera, it's really cool to explore. Look at those cool statues. It is so fun and interesting. And lots of statues of gods, which Egypt people worship. A lot of them have animal faces or animal on top of their face or somehow connected to animals because they did worship a lot of animals.
And in general speaking, Egypt people they had a lot of gods and they worship each god individually. They had a god of sun, god of war, and and then they had god of death and afterlife, the Anubis, the god of writing, god of love, god of beauty, and you can continue this list for a very long time. But a lot of those gods you can see here. At the exhibit. There are a lot of statues of cats and cat faces here you can meet because Egyptians they loved cats and believed that cats were magical creatures capable of bringing good luck to people who had them so they had a very good relationship with cats and they even worshiped them. There are some ancient Egyptian art over there some statues and we're gonna move on to some tools which Egypt people used and actually speaking about the whole exhibit overall it will take you at least about an hour hour and a half to explore everything So that looks like an ancient carriage used to carry kings and pharaohs. Really nicely themed wall here, all gold crafted. And this is what Egypt women used to wear on top of their hats. Believe it or not, it's really heavy. And if you may have noticed, a lot of items here are gold crafted. That is because Egypt people had a special relationship with gold. They believed that gold was a symbol of immortality and that it had magical protection pictures. Called gold flesh of the gods because it did not corrode, it did not darker. They used gold everywhere and the more they used it, the more richer person was so it was kind of talking about their status as well the higher it was the more gold the person would use they would put it on themselves they would have gold mask accessories and stuff like that And there are some really cool slides about the gold mining by Egypt people and discovery of gold by them. They were really proud of them and some scientists even believed that Egypt people were the first ones who discovered gold. Moving further along, we see some Egypt art over there. Those replicas, they look absolutely stunning. Like, look at that piece of art. It takes a lot of time to accomplish that. And that is a statue of King Tut. He was not tall at all and he actually became a 
king when he was still a child. Wow, mommy, look at that. Wow, and that statue is crafted all in gold. Gold accents everywhere. And here we have the statue of a cat, which represented the Anubis, the god of afterlife. Further along, you can learn about the mummification process itself, really nice slides which simply explain how the process was, there were a lot of layers to the tomb when they discovered it. And the final inner layer had a mummy itself covered in black crescent and had the famous gold death mask which was one of the famous artifacts in Egypt history. And that is actually the king's tooth top. You can see there are several layers, like I see one, two, three, four layers. And it is all gold crafted. Like here, this is just a replica, so this is not a real gold, but imagine the original is all crafted in gold. The exhibit also focuses on explanation who King Tut was. A lot of people heard about them, but if you did not hear about that, he was a famous pharaoh in Egypt from 1332 to 1323 BC. And he was put on the throne as a child when he was about eight, nine years old. First, he was not like, really famous at all, and he became famous only after his death. And he was famous for restoring the cult of Amun Ra and returning kind of Egypt to polytheism, which overturned the religious forms of his father. Like, look at this tomb. Wow, it it looks absolutely stunning and amazing. And here we have the famous artifact in Egypt history, the famous death mask, which King Tut was wearing when he was found. This mask is crafted in gold. Look at this mummy, he has a beard. Yes, Nikita, young king was here pictured wearing a fake beard. 
and it's worth mentioning that this mask weights 22 pounds can you imagine 22 pounds of pure gold wow it is absolutely amazing look at those details on the back of the mask the mask represents the face of the young pharaoh in idolized way like he was a living image of amun the mask was used to cover his head completely and his shoulders for protection as well as like safe entry in afterlife overall it was really great really cool exhibit we loved it kids loved it they felt themselves like they are little indiana joneses mommy i see a very big ship here and now we are Moving on to see the Titanic exhibit. The famous shipwreck in the history. Wow, look at this ship. It looks really, really cool. Boys loved it. All the details looks like exact replica of the original Titanic. So let's go and see and discover exhibit and we'll tell you our experience there. Okay, when we entered the exhibit we were given pretty cool boarding passes to the Titanic so we could kind of feel the experience of the ship. Inside we saw some pretty cool artifacts, parts of the iconic ship and the history of Thomas Andrews, the one who was the architect of the Titanic, the one who designed the ship. So these are the parts from the ship. It's really, really cool to see. The ship was initially constructed in 1909, but it was launched in 1911. Let's go, let's go, everybody board the ship. I have my ticket here. I got a ticket for Titanic. Let's go, let's go. Those hallways look really nice, like except replica from the original movie. This is one of the rooms on Titanic for the third class passengers also exhibit focused on the third class passengers primarily because those ones conducted the majority of passengers who died on the shipwreck and here we have just a sneak peek of a famous staircase look how beautiful it is this is the side you can see the how big the ceiling is and this is the staircase itself it looks absolutely gorgeous and this is how the room of the first class passenger looked we see there is like a big difference they had a special area with a writing desk where they could write they had a bigger bed it looks like a big full-size room and we have some stories of the first class passengers as well but they were not a primary focus this is the collection of coins and paper bills which were found on the titanic after the ship sunk they look pretty pretty good for them being so old and here we have a china and silverware collection from the first class passengers looks really really nice especially how nice it's saved and here you can experience the actual ship in the night time look 
it feels like you are actually on the ship and the stars behind looks really really nice we even felt a slight blow of wind was kind of a recreation of the night before the wreck Ooh, I feel a little chilly but we still like it here we are on Titanic I like it here it's so fun to watch the stars. Look, there's a real iceberg here. It's so cold. And here we have the recreation of a giant iceberg, which a Titanic had before it sunk. It looked really, really, really big. This just a giant piece of ice you are welcome to touch this piece of iceberg and fill it for yourself it feels so cold just like a real iceberg wow I like it it's so cool wow it's so cool that is a ship replica right there where you can see and explore the details of the outer portion of the ship i'm gonna be a captain on the ship the combination of lights and the atmosphere makes you feel like you are on the bottom of the ocean look at this cute shape I gotta explore it right now. And finally, the biggest artifact, the big piece of the Titanic. It is huge. It was successfully recovered in the expedition in 1998 and it weighs about 15 ton. It's really, really big piece of metal. The length of it about 26 feet. Well, this piece looks impressive. Only this piece is worth for you to go down there and see the whole Titanic exhibit. And this is the back side of it. really nice really cool exhibit especially for those who are interested in history of the shipwreck when titanic sank 1523 people died majority of those were the passengers of the third class And just as I promised, we're gonna show you the tip of the pyramid, the famous Luxor Sky Beam. It is the most powerful man-made light in the world, using curved mirrors to collect the light from 39 Hanon lamps and focus them into one narrow beam. The walls at night of the hotel look also absolutely amazing with all of those drawings light up. 
looks really 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 cool it is absolutely stunning and amazing it's worth mentioning that the full system cost 51 dollars an hour to operate and $20 going on top of that towards electricity, $20 per hour for electricity just to operate this light. But it's worth seeing, it looks amazing. So our tour of the hotel and exhibit walkthrough are coming to the end. We enjoyed Luxor Hotel a lot with the Egyptian culture, Egyptian theme looks absolutely amazing we love the exhibit there are a lot of things to do for families with children exhibits are very kid friendly so we highly recommend you go visit Luxor hotel when you are in Las Vegas I hope you guys liked our video hit like and subscribe to our channel to see more our Las Vegas videos Stay tuned. Bye-bye.